Paul de Lumiere is located right here inside of the former Emigrant Industrial Savings Bank on Chamber Street in Lower Manhattan. I met up with digital creator Elise Swopes. We went through this digital immersive art center through her lens. This is an unbelievable experience. Um, art to me is about feeling and, and, you know, when you're in this space, there's nothing else but feelings that come to you. Brooklyn-based Swopes knows a lot about the importance of creating and sharing digital art. The 33-year-old has been engulfed in the digital art world since she was 10, creating art mainly using apps on her phone. The reason why digital art connected with me so much is because I grew up with very young parents who really didn't have very much, but what we did have is a computer that had access to, you know, have me be homeschooled, to be able to also, you know, utilize these different programs where I could undo, redo. So I felt like digital creation to me was always this limitless feeling of being able to create whenever, wherever, whatever I want. And now, seeing this kind of art in her own city has left her in awe. The 33,000 square foot space has art draped over the walls and coated on the floors. Almost every square inch is covered. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is it. <laughs> it is golden, literally, figuratively. You can see every single detail of the of the strokes of the of the art. I think is really so rare. You can see it's such a big space, large space. This immersive, you know, experience where you almost get to learn about yourself, what you like, you know, also you're getting to learn about the art and how it's created. You're you're wondering and curious about you know, how is this even happening? <laughs> it happens with the help of more than 140 projectors displaying 4,500 full HD images simultaneously per second. The images are based on the work of Gustav Klimt. There's so much happening. If you blink, you could miss something. Oh, the columns are definitely by far my favorite piece of this. Sometimes digital artists are, are limited by having to print our artwork or, or do this physical kind of thing. But when it comes to this, we're, we're really getting the pure view of how digital art can become physical and tangible in this way. And it's, it's amazing, it really is amazing. I feel like everything is in its own kind of like generation or its own time where it's telling its own a story about someone who's expressing something and that to me is modern art you know that's art in in its essence in every inch of this place kind of create your own perspective of what you see and what you appreciate about it the walkthrough experience lasts about an hour swope says what she loves most about this new age is the twist it puts on traditional art i think people are concerned about us getting away from what's natural or what's healthy or what's you know good for us in some way. But I think when we think about these futuristic things, I think they're just tools to better our life and to make our experiences more wholesome and connected. To have those moments of calm, of relax, to utilize and use these as tools to not escape life, but to make life better. In Lower Manhattan, Lindsay Kane, CBS News, New York.